Hi guys, Kelly Gorsuch here from Memorial Beloved Salon. Today we're going to like work with uh, kind of a, a mid-length shape around the clavicle, really kind of separating the length and getting some movement and some texture in there. She's got pretty curly hair. This is what I've seen so far. I don't know her texture, so I'm going to get it wet and then we're going to make some decisions along the way. Getting artistic on it. All right, so I'm just gonna rock a one length on her. Um, keep it pretty broken. She's got pretty, pretty curly hair here. Just gonna do everything I can to stay away from um, that triangle Christmas tree shape. And keep it loose. So my second section is right to the top of the occipital bone. Um, I'm gonna have her bring her head back up now to uh, the way she naturally holds it and that's gonna to create that uh, reverse graduation. So now when I cut this line and it grows out, I won't have like little bits of graduation at the bottom. It'll be like a nice clean line throughout the grow out process. And just, I'm, deep point cutting just to maintain that looseness in the shape. Just making sure my lines are straight down and all of my balance is in that haircut. And I don't, um, I don't take a million different because her density is not that that strong. Like, I don't need to take a million different sections. I just did that in two sections there. It really allows me to control my shape and make sure I'm not making weirdo mistakes because I can't see her hair when I'm cutting. So I went from, <laughs> I went from, shit. Two right, let's go. So you fucked up my shit, bro. <laughs> You're going to flow. my shit, my, my flow back down. All right, so I went from taking diagonal forward sections and I'm like starting to rock more a horizontal section. Um, and it's just like a balance issue for the front and the back. I'm just trying to get more hair of that. I'm going to direct this back into a straight line. So when I come forward, I'm maintaining my balance through the sides and that strength. And then I'll come to the sides, of course, and straighten them up. So they don't go down into an A-line thing just in the very, very front. This directing back, it's like a slight inversion from the front to the back. We'll just make sure that I have my entire corner to work with as I bring this around. Um, just like make sure that I never make a mistake on that corner that I'm always working with a strong corner. Really in upscale hairdressing, you're talking about that corner is everything that matters the most of anything I can do to the hair shape. Um, and will be the thing that like allows her to feel like it's a great haircut throughout the grow out process. Especially with her density, if you take that too far forward or take your forward graduation too far back, you know, you're real, whoops, you have real problems with density. Should have filmed him stretching earlier. That would have been He's got enough of that. Always oh, stretch out before. I'll stretch out mid haircut here. There we go. So I want this to be like a slight uh, longer length in the front, like a, a slight decline there. Just so when her hair like kind of curls back up, it curls back up into a balanced shape instead of it being a little, the same length and then with the curly hair and she doesn't have as much density in the front of the head, that would encourage this to bounce up more than the back. So I just want to keep like a slight decline there towards the front so it will, it will kind of balance it back out for me. So it's a pretty important little step. Um, and that, that decline or, uh, will change dramatically based on density. So I'm always gonna try to guess at like, what I think her hair is gonna jump up to, and that will be the amount of, of uh, decline in that length there. Preserving that corner there, this corner is super important for her shape, and it's usually just like 
the sideburn area. So I want to keep that as strong as possible. So my forward graduation has to only be with that, the hair and that density in front of it. As you can see, that's not a lot. So even if I were to come up here to the nose level, I'd really have to get out in a hurry, like really steep with that forward graduation. And from here, we're not gonna do a lot of um, layering as per request from the model Victoria here. Um, but what I figured I'd do is like really take a lot of this weight out of this back part. The front's not gonna need it as much, but I'm really gonna concentrate on that density and loosen up that density through the back so it feels like a little bit more flowy and, uh, and pretty for like be a nice, nice shape for it. All right, so all I'm gonna do is kind of slice into these ends, and I don't want a bunch of stripes. I just want a few, and that's gonna give me enough negative space to make this almost appear layered without being layered. So it's just gonna like open up that, that negative space and get some movement and some of her curl pattern out, kind of just kind of encourage the curl pattern a bit. If you do a bunch of tiny strikes, it will become frizziness, and that is not what we want, especially in Washington, D.C., with the humidity. Now, if I wanted her length to be a lot more broken, I would do this all the way down into the length. I don't think with her density I'm going to need that too broken, so I'm going to just allow, uh, allow myself the extra hair to make some decisions dry. So I'm just attacking the weight just above the length. What I'm trying not to do is strike the very surface of the layer, all right? Because that will make it layered and I don't want to make it layered. So the very surface of this shape at the top in the crown in this particular area is something that I've got to protect. So I'm not striking it, I'm leaving that out. Now I'm not trying to make it like really heavy on top of it so I can strike just below it so I don't get a clump of hair there. You can see with her hair, like I'm already getting like a nice curl pattern out of it and I don't have that Christmas tree feel through there. And it's really loose and you're not seeing a bunch of layering pattern in there either. Like it's kind of a hidden, uh, Kind of hidden in the cut there in that pattern. Take a good look at this, Mr. Cameraman. Kev Kev, come on, Kev Kev. Pretty steep diagonal forward here in the front. I'm just gonna invert this back a little bit about to the ear. Just because of this density, I would do it more with less density and less with, with uh, more density. And that's just gonna be that connection into the front. What I don't wanna do is just continue this all the way through and then it weirdly have like some sort of secondary uh, level in the haircut that will give me like a kind of square shape, which I just do not wanna see. Also, it will have a tendency to take out that weight and kind of make it creep up and that will round that corner, which is a, of course what I've set out to not get. So you can see in the, in the mirror, just like how much it like, separates her curl pattern. Same thing on this side, it's just far less hair, so I'm gonna be very, very gentle with her. Sounds funny when you say it like that. All right, so that's my wet cut. I'm gonna come back and finish all of this dry. We're gonna make a few decisions. I think it's fairly close to where it's gonna end up. We're probably gonna to have to go in and dry cut just the surface stuff on the sides in that connection area between the back and the front, just to kind of get a little something moving. I do wanna see a couple sporadic pieces. I don't wanna see layers or levels. I definitely wanna see a couple sporadic pieces though, um, so it doesn't look too perfect.
I'm just digitally cutting this now. I'm just trying to open up her for a graduation. Now that I can see her, her pattern, I'm really just kind of cutting into it. Still trying to keep some of that strength in the corner. See, it kind of flattens out here at the end, so I'm just trying to strengthen that up. I think of the courses I need to do like, to get a little springiness in this. And it'll help keep everything at that length from sitting at one spot, so it'll kind of distribute that pattern a little bit better for it. Alright guys, this is my final progression. This is a one length haircut. All I really did is create a little bit of graduation through the length. It is actually one length. Just a pretty strong forward graduation on her. Her density kind of did the rest. And then I'm just going to show you the back. And you see how much elevation and, and uh, graduation I was able to achieve through that. Even though it's still all actually one length. Well, hope you guys like it. It's kind of a fun progression of a one length. Um, enjoy.